Welcome viewers to Q&A with Stockpile. Today we have the Managing Director of VRX Silica, Bruce Mellowish with us. Hi Bruce, how are you doing today? Jared, good to see you. Right, great to hear. So perhaps to kickstart the whole Q&A, could you tell what is the business all about and why did VRX pivot to Silica Sand in 2017? Uh, the company had been around for a while. We've uh, we've been a listed company on the ASX since 2011. But in 2017, I noticed a, a couple of news articles that talked about a sand shortage that looked to be occurring in, uh, in Asia. And initially, I was reading about India, and I did a bit more research and discovered that there is a looming sand shortage uh, in, in Asia, and particularly for glass making. So I started searching for some deposits and I searched all over Australia and ultimately we found them right on our doorstep. So uh, our main project areas are all in Western Australia. Right, and given that this COVID-19 pandemic is sweeping across the globe, how is the company actually coping and could you elaborate on the advancement made in the September quarter? Fortunately, it hasn't affected us all that much. All the work we needed to do, uh, particularly field studies in the environmental surveys, we've been able to, to uh, continue on with those. So that's worked out particularly well. Um, dealing with the government, uh, despite them saying it's business as usual, it wasn't really. Uh, it has slowed down a little bit, but not much effect at the moment. So uh, even those departments are... Uh, uh, are doing quite well. Uh, September quarter, we ended up announcing uh, the fact that we've now got granted mining leases for all of our projects that we're looking to put into development, which is very significant. And uh, we're finalizing the, finalizing the requirements for the environmental approvals as well. So we've made some, uh, some big steps in the, in the September quarter. Right. And um, currently, what are the projects that uh, VRX is actually working on? And how do you see the Silica Sand market outlook to be steering VRX Silica's business in the near future? Well, the second part there first, um, it's our future. We've now tied into uh, Silica Sand as our main focus. So the whole company is dedicated now to bringing Silica Sand projects onto the market and in fact to be exporting into uh, Asian markets for mainly glass making. But uh, our main projects are uh, two project areas, Arrowsmith, which is 270 kilometers north of Perth. Uh, there's two projects there, Arrowsmith North and Arrowsmith Central. Both of those will be exported uh, to Geraldton. Uh, we have a, adjacent to that, we have a rail, a rail line which we can get access to. Uh, underutilized at the moment and uh, and we can rail for export to the Geraldton port. The other project we have is called Muche and it is about 50 kilometers north of Perth. Once again has a railway line there and that connects to the port of Quinana for export. So we're really at the moment we're at the throw in the throes of getting environmental approval and then we'll uh, you know finance uh, finalize our finance and, and and most likely get Arrowsmith North into production first. Right, and uh, what would you say is the target timeline for commercialization and where does its uh, Boyata Silica Sand project currently stand? We're hoping to get our Arrowsmith North project into production the middle of next year. Uh, we've just had the mining leases granted, that's a significant hurdle. Uh, we are now uh, in the throes of finalizing some binding offtake agreements with uh, glass making manufacturers in, uh, in Asia, uh, particularly uh, Korea and, um, and Japan. They've got big um, glass making and also foundry industry in Korea. Uh, so that will be our first project that we're looking to get into production. The Boyatup project uh, is down the Southwest. Uh, it's another project area that we've held for a little while. We'll advance that next year. Uh, it's at very early stages at the moment. And uh, really the three projects we've got now have kept us plenty busy. Right, and what would you say is Silica's uh, competitive advantage here uh, compared to the other sand players in the market? We expect other players to be in the market. Um, the way the sand supply 
is being affected in Asia, the uh, the price of sand has steadily increased to the point where it can it can afford to have the shipping cost from Australia. Even though Asia is our nearest neighbour, it's still a long way away and the shipping component is still an expensive exercise. So, but the price now can handle the shipping. So there will be more players in, uh, in Australia. Our competitive advantage really is we've got very large resources. We've got over a billion tonnes in resources and more than 270 million tonnes in reserve. Now, the advantage there is that we can sign very long-term offtake agreements. Uh, these will be in production, uh, each of them will be in production for more than 100 years. So that is a big advantage. And the, our greatest advantage is the fact that we, we're adjacent to railway lines. These are existing rail lines to existing ports. So our capital cost is purely the processing plant. We don't need to tip capital in to, uh, to, to try and establish uh, rail or ports. So that's a distinct advantage. So it's really the size of the resources and the available logistics to us. Right. And do you think a silica sand sector is developing in Australia? And could you please uh, shed some light on the company's financial footing? I do think there will be a sector. Uh, we're leading the pack by a couple of years, but there will be um, eventually some other companies operating in Australia. Part of the problem we have is there hasn't been a silica sand sector in Australia. So there is uh, most, the market doesn't really understand the silica sand market. So I've had to educate them over the last couple of years. Um, our, currently the company has about 2 million Aussie dollars in the bank. Uh, we've got um, some uh, in the money options at the moment, which will get converted at the end of this month. And that'll give us another million dollars. We're not spending a lot of money at the moment. Uh, the approvals process and uh, environmental surveys is not an expensive part of the, uh, of the operation. The, the big dollars for exploration, drilling, assaying, uh, you know, resource estimates, process engineering, detailed engineering, those big big dollar items, they're already being completed. So uh, we're hoping to get to a, a point very soon where we'll finalize offtake and the financing required to, uh, to build the plant. Right, and just to wrap up the whole Q&A, how are you uh, currently engaging your investors and could you touch upon their future plans for the company? Um, we're, we're sort of making quite a number of videos and they, they've been distributed around Australia and that's really part and parcel of my attempts to try and educate the market and in potential investors about the silica sand market and also what we're trying to do with our projects. Uh, we're getting a good response. Um, uh, we, we recently announced the granting of the mining leases and uh, you know, the price has nearly doubled, the share price has nearly doubled. So really our future plans in the near future is uh, finalise offtake agreements, uh, finalise the financing of it, uh, complete the environmental approvals and uh, start construction. Fortunately, construction doesn't take very, very long. These are not particularly sophisticated plants and all the items we require are basically off the shelf here in Australia. Right, sounds like an exciting time for you guys. So for viewers who are keen on the Silica story, the ticket is AXX VRX. And thanks again, Bruce, for being with us today. Thanks, Jared.